Hi, my name is Gabriel Santos and I will present you the working title Open Accents Tools for the Modeling and Simulation of Electricity Markets. I will start with a motivation and background overview of the Iberian Electricity Market, MIBEL. After I will present the tools that enable the modeling and simulation of MIBEL for a month, namely the Electricity Market Service and the Spine Toolbox. Following the case study methodology and results will be presented and discussed. And finally, the presentation ends with the conclusions and perspectives of future work. The electricity sector has undergone major changes in the last couple of decades due to environmental concerns and policies and to become more competitive and liberalized. The most significant changes are the introduction of a competitive approach in electricity markets and the increasing use of renewable energy sources and distributed generation. The growing variety of business models and involved entities and their interactions make electricity markets behavior more complex and unpredictable. This ever-changing context poses several challenges that reinforce the need to study, experiment and validate the operations of such a complex, dynamic and competitive sector as the power systems. Simulation and decision support tools must provide the understanding of these new business models and interactions among stakeholders. This work proposes using two publicly available tools, the Electricity Market Service and the Spine Toolbox, demonstrating how to automate the simulation of MIBEL Day Ad Session for a month. The Iberian Electricity Market, MIBEL, emerges from a partnership between the governments of Portugal and Spain to integrate their electrical systems while establishing an electricity market at the Iberian level. The Spanish market operator OMIE and the Portuguese market operator OMIP are the main operators of MIBEL. OMIE controls the day ahead and intraday wholesale markets, while OMIP manages the derivative, futures, and forward markets, among others. In this work, we will focus on OMIE's operation. The day ahead market is a 24 hourly period session using the double auction based mechanism to establish the total amount of traded energy and the market price per period. Each bid is composed up to 25 tranches of energy amount and price per unit per period. Complex conditions are allowed in the day-ad market but only for supply bids. Sellers use them strategically and if those conditions are not met, these players leave the market negotiation as they are not interested in participating. Finally, OMIE considers a split method to address each area separately if there are congestions on the interconnections between the two countries. When such occurs, OMIE runs the day-ahead market for each area separately, determining different market prices for each country. Intraday markets, in turn, are an essential tool allowing pl market players to adjust the day ahead market's results. In Mivel, the intraday is similar to the day ahead market. However, it includes six trading sessions regarding different hourly periods, as shown in the table below. To participate in this market, players must have participated in the day ahead market and submitted bids in the same trading periods. In this market, buyers may sell their supplies and sellers can buy faulty demand. Both types of players can submit complex conditions. The Electricity Market Service, or EMS, is a publicly available web service uh, that provides the simulation of three of the main European electricity markets, MIBEL, IPEX and NordPool, and also two auction-based algorithms for clearing a single period the symmetrical and asymmetrical pools. EMS is available as a REST API to be reused by third-party developers for software agents, web-based services, APIs, etc. EMS supports JSON as input and output, providing appropriate schemas for each algorithm. Here are input snippet examples for each available model and for more details, please visit our services documentation webpage. 
The Spine Toolbox, in turn, is an open source software developed within the scope of the European Union Spine project that enables the definition, management and execution of complex energy system models, while allowing an open, practical, flexible and realistic planning of future European energy grids. The Spine Toolbox is a modular and adaptable tool, offering a framework which is able to assemble tools, models and data providing a visual representation of the entire data processing chain. Please visit the URLs at the bottom of this slide for deeper insights. Let us now see how we can integrate these tools for electricity markets modeling and simulation. The present case study aims to demonstrate how to model the simulation of Mibel the Ad market for an entire month using EMS and the Spine Toolbox. It considers public data gathered from OMIA's data repository to set the player's bids for each day of February 2019. Since this data is anonymous and it isn't possible to know which tranches belong to each player, each tranche represents a player, thus demonstrating the scalability of EMS. To simplify, complex conditions are not considered. EMS allows simulating a single market session for each wholesale market available. To execute the day-ahead session of Mivel for each day of February 2019, we have used the Spine Toolbox to automate this process. The data connection item, named February 2019, allows importing the player's data for each session of Mivel's day-ahead market. It imports the data gathered from OMIA's data repository and converted into 28 JSON files, one per day, for each day at session of MIVAL, making it available for the next tool item. The Run EMS MIVAL Feb 2019 item is the core of this example, as it enables the simulation of MIVAL for the whole month using the Electricity Market Service. This item allows coding scripts in Python, Julia and GAMS, or even to run executable files. In this specific example, a Python script was used to automate the execution of Mibel the Air Market in EMS for the 20 day days of February 2019. To run Mibel's Day Air Market for each day, this Python script uses the EMS base URL on the top image concatenated with the MIVEL endpoint, which is declared in the input file of this Spine Toolbox project, as we can see on the bottom. Another option would be to declare the complete EMS MIVEL URL in the script. However, this way uh, we are able to run different uh, electricity markets available at EMS using the same Spine Toolbox project. This Python script handles the input and output data workflows, saving the results in JSON format. The results are then sent to the, set, to the next tool item. Finally, the Create Charts tool receives the previous item's JSON output to generate the output charts to ease the analysis and interpretation of the results. This item generates charts for each player and the market operator regarding each daily session and the aggregated results of the month. The chart generation is also supported by a Python script. Looking at the simulation results, from the market operator's point of view, these are the overall session results for the day ahead session of 17 February 2019. This is a randomly selected day. It must be noticed that being a day ahead session, the simulation is actually determining the market clearing for the next day, that is 18 February. From the chart, the total demand and supply submitted per day can be observed. The different color tones identify the satisfied in dark and unsatisfied in light color, demand and supply in orange and green, respectively. The blue line in turn represents the market price set for each trading period. A closer look at periods 9 until 19, it seems that there was no negotiation in those periods, but there's, there was, as will be shown next. Such has to do with the granularity, uh, since in this chart the energy unit is gigawatt hour and the trade and energy is not enough to be seen in this dimension. Next are the session results achieved by a randomly selected buyer for the same day. 
As it is possible to see, this buyer only submitted bids for the first 16 hourly periods. Unfortunately for this player, his demand was only satisfied from period 12 until 16. This means this player submitted lower prices in the first periods of the day than the last seller to sell, thus not being able to trade. This chart also proves that there was trading from periods 12 to 16 at least, but the maximum amount of traded energy, as we can see, was near 8 megawatt hour in period 16. Following are the session results of seller 3. This player submitted bids for all trading periods. However, he could only sell his supply in 13 periods out of 24. This means the prices offered in his bids from period 9 to period 19 were a bit higher than the market price, which was zero in those periods. In the remaining periods, this player was able to sell all of his supply. Finally, this chart presents the overall market results for each day of February 2019 from the market operator's perspective. Analyzing this chart, one can see the aggregated demand and supply for each day of the month regarding the satisfied and unsatisfied energy. In this case, the blue line represents the average market price for each day. This chart shows that the amount of supply is significantly higher than the demand. However, not all demand was satisfied due to the bid prices set by the players. It is also interesting to observe the average market price variation along the, the month. The highest average price was set on 19 February at 16 0.76 euros per megawatt hour, while the lowest was on the first day of the month at zero. To conclude, the rising penetration of renewable energy sources hardens the power system's operation to preserve stability and balance. Such demands for new market models appropriate for the new reality. Several simulation tools arose in this context. However, these tools are usually designed for experts being difficult for inexperienced users to use them. This work proposes the use and integration of EMS and the Spine Toolbox for the modeling and simulation of electricity markets operation. Using these tools, we demonstrated how to model and simulate a complete month of MIBEL VAR operation using real data collected from OMS file repository. The case study also shows EMS scalability and ability to handle large amounts of data. As future works, we are considering to include another web-based service